The ride will take you through varied climates, so it's advised that participants bring warm cycling clothes plus a change of clothes for after the event so that you can enjoy all the post-event festivities. As the event day approaches, take the time to prepare properly so you have no dramas. Get your bike serviced and make sure you pack spare tubes, canisters, bike maintenance tools, a small amount of money, bike lights, which are fully charged, plus any other items you would need for a long distance ride. Even though there are multiple refreshment stops available on the course, we also recommend you pack any additional nutrition and drinks that you think you might need. Detailed refreshment stop information is available in the e-guide. During your ride, please make sure you don't litter. This not only harms the beautiful surrounds of the local area, but also jeopardises the future of the event. When you arrive at the venue, please make sure that you are aware of your start time. All times are available in the event e-guide. Participants must start in their selected ability group. Please ensure that you do not start earlier than indicated in the event e-guide, because this is a police requirement and no on-course support will be available prior to these times. It is a compulsory requirement that all participants wear the event jersey. This allows event staff and police to identify event participants and will also allow you to utilise event services such as mechanical support and refreshments. Also, make sure your helmet sticker and your numbered seat post sticker are attached securely once you arrive at the venue. This will help staff identify you and will ensure you are able to access on-course support and refreshments. Also, please make sure you save the following support numbers in your phone in case of an emergency on cause or if event services are required during the day. When out on course, please make sure you obey all road rules and ride in a safe manner. Police will be present to monitor the event and will hand out infringement notices where cyclists disobey road rules or police instructions. In particular, make sure that you don't cross over the double white lines on the road, stay to the left and maintain single file on climbs unless overtaking. It is fine to ride two abreast on closed roads, but on open roads, be courteous to vehicles wanting to get past by riding single file. On the descents, it is very important that you take extreme care. Do not exceed the 60 km per hour limit and do not take other cyclists or support vehicles and do not cross centre lines on the road. We do not want to see any accidents on the day or anyone in an ambulance. In the case of wet weather, make sure your bike lights are on and that you take particular care around sharp turns and on hill descents. We look forward to a great day on the surf coast at the RACV Great Ocean and Old Bay Classic Ride. If you have any questions before the event, please head to www.greatoceanotwayclassic.com.au or call SME360 on 03 9595 3000. See you there.